Hello and welcome. Time for a bit more of The Witcher 2. Uh, I would tell you the episode number if I could remember it. It may be getting close to 40 if not 40 itself. Uh, last time we were stuck on this puzzle. Uh, when the side quest on chapter 3. Um, I have a fair idea what I need to do now. But let's go and speak to this lovely eye. Uh, so solve the riddle. Place yourself and two of your companions on right pressure plants. Uh, plates I should say. Alright, don't want to open the door. I want to try to speak to the eye, come on. A group of travellers wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. Okay. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, its riches untold. Okay, drake serpentine. Okay. Uh, what do you think of the first verse? I would say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its own tail, which represents infinity and thus time. The hourglass likewise symbolizes time. In this case, the time of the traveler's journey. I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. What's more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged, and as an accomplished alchemist, Der Henna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter, an essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate the allegory illustrating that transformation. Okay. All right. Um. I only thought there was one dragon, but thinking back on it, <laughs> so I remember that read the verse out. Oh bugger! Um, uh, I think it's an actual dragon. Um, so go for hourglass. Mm. I think it's the hourglass. I shall take that one. Okay. Second verse. The second verse. To my mind, it speaks of the white rose, symbol of the order of the flaming rose. Nope. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the silver lady and white rose are one and the same. I think it describes the full moon. That's what I was thinking. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the feminine element. The water remains largely unknown in the south, so the white rose seems unlikely. Every Nilfgaardian, on the other hand, has heard of the Imperial Nausicaa Brigade. Of which course. has the death's head as its symbol. The brigade's name is female, and they say death follows a unit. So the silver lady could very well be Nausicaa or the death's head. So I don't know if my dog, my barking, thinks that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, uh, full moon. I think it's the full moon. Allow me. Okay, third verse. What do you say to the third verse? It describes the precipice, the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule in alchemy states, as above, so below. The vault is the ravine into which the riches of the mountain flow. We must read the third line literally. To me, it suggests the Mahakam Mountains and its mines, from which dwarves and gnomes extract many ores that are invaluable to alchemists. Those mountains are a vault in and of themselves. I was thinking it was a... The verse is not literal. In many legends, towers are in fact vaults, which the hero must penetrate in order to rescue an imprisoned princess or find a long-concealed magic item. The mountain vault is the tower. I actually thought it was actually um, a mine, mine entrance in the of some sort. It's got more com convoluted than I thought it was going to be. Let's give it a shot. Let's I'll see probably die now. This. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. Okay. So I have to go to the. Uh, all right. Is that my one? Yes, it is. All right. All right. See what happens now. But we all burn horribly. Oh, and my game hitches up. Oh. We must try another combination. All right. So that was not it. Come on, gargoyles. Oh no, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, I do not know then. Is that them all dead? Okay, so we'll draw put yourself on the constellation on the right pressure band. Alright. Let's read it here again. Alright. A group of travellers wandering through the dark. Three guides above them. So three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining. Maybe this constellation. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault. It's Okay, I think I know what it's gonna do now. So first verse, uh, I'll do Dragon Constellation. Should I shall take uh, second verse I'll do the full moon. I think allow me uh, final verse I'll do the mine entrance. Let's see. Take your fingers crossed. Me out. Yes, big. you will. Big boost. Come on. All right. That is the right one, is it? Yeah. Let's see what happens now. Hello. Intruder detected. No. Eh. Uh, maybe. Maybe you should have given help. Okay. Yay! Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, that's some nasty-looking golem. I presume it's the golem. Okay. I Our miss. expedition has grown thin. Such a shame. I actually found those two amusing. Shut up. Okay. My lady. All right. We've got the next horror in front of us. All right. I presume another puzzle might be involved. Hello. Can I come in? Are you going to say anything? A goner. So Dare Henna's legend is true. It is no more than an obedient machine created to follow orders and kill. Not unlike our Witcher. That's a bit hmm. so I guess offended. We along famously. Hugh, what do you know about golems? I don't run into them in every forest, but any good bestiary describes golems at length, and I've read more than my share of those. Geralt, I'm not questioning your knowledge, but I should be the one to... Actually, you are questioning my knowledge. <laughs> Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll try to get it to reveal the word that'll deactivate it. Or I'll just mess with its head. Break the code. So now we've got a burglar in our midst. Be my guest. Try. My intentions are good. As are mine. Know, however, that this may change. Derhanna must have been pretty lonely if he gave you eloquence. The master made me a guardian. Nothing less. Nothing more. And you, provided you stand there, are a guest. Okay. Let's see, uh We're not getting anywhere. Do apologize for the dog in the background. I can't leave the room at the moment now. We will have them. I will not allow it. Stop the intruders. Okay. That didn't go well at all. Go on. Come on. Right. Oh god. Come on. Okay, I've got a sword out there. That's good. Oh that's no, not too bad. I thought I was gonna get my ass kicked. Two more at a time. Go on, there was one though. I'm bleeding profusely. Cinematicness of it. Oh. Yay! We've done it. We've penetrated De Henna's laboratory. Let's have a look. Okay, I was hoping to do that with slightly less violence, but uh, this is better than I'd hoped. A great success for Nilfgaard this mission. Maybe you'll get that promotion. Right. Diana describes finding an important document about the Vrans. 
anything else worth finding? Oh, there's one. Dahana's notes from a trip he took to Zeracania. Can you feel that? My medallion's vibrating. Another masking illusion. I'll try to disperse it. Lisa and Lorne, later, dear! I haven't finished searching the place. Stop using magic! A bitching stereo. The device, what is it? You've done your job. You'll be paid and... Paid like the scholars were? They died once they were no longer useful. They were never useful, but Cynthia insisted. Fortunately, they were so kind as to remove themselves without my help. I'm not about to be that kind. <laughs> Adelbert, you know what you're to look for. Yes, ma'am. It's a prototype megascope. I didn't know it had survived. What's it do? The artifact detects an emotional bond with a person. Its user need only focus on that person and the device will establish a connection. Great tool for a spy. Yes. Time you fulfilled your end of the bargain. What do you know about my past? Is she lying to me? You were a rider of the Wild Hunt. I read the reports. Don't the Nuff Guardians have anything better to do than write reports about witchers? Not about witchers. About you. You are the sole person to have been a member of the Host. And survived. The Host? Uh... I'd like to try out the device. You realize that can only end badly. Cut in again and I'll put you in my report. <laughs> you may use it, but just once. Giving state secrets away to a Nordling. Will you mention that in your report? I don't you slap him. You be named a commander one day, Adelbert. But until that happens, be a good boy and do your job. <laughs> Article 22 of the code is clear. Suspicion of treason is sufficient grounds to strip a commander of power. Article 1 of my personal code is equally clear. Traitors must be subjected to the most painful death possible. Am I gonna have to kill this dude now? Where is he? Where's the fake one? Go on. Come on. I'm glad I didn't like you. Anyway, out of car. We're working on which one's the real one? We're getting more of them, alright. Alright. I'm doing a particularly bad job with this. I know, it's changing my magic. Alright, I'll help. There we are. One down. Two down. Oh, not two down, I'm getting over the comfort now. That's two down. Excellent. I didn't expect that. Multiplication. Second year at the academy, <laughs> all mages learn it. I didn't expect you to take my side. Well, now choose one person you wish to contact. After that, the artifact's mine. Okay. Uh, tell me more about my past. Um, Is there anything to prove I was part of the Wild Hunt? Nothing. Apart from the fact that Nilfgaardian intelligence agents are drawn and quartered for lying in their reports. Hmm. An enlightened nation indeed. <laughs> you haven't the faintest notion how many people are interested in you. Very important people. Just because I survived? You're a former rider of the hunt and you live. You may be the key to solving the mystery of the retinue. And they all know that. You must watch out for yourself. Uh, is there anything to prove? Nothing. Oh, sorry, I asked that question already. Just because I survived. You're off and they... Hmm. How do you know? I've read... The reports. I know. I know. Why are you warning me about him? Because I like you. Let's say you've satisfied my curiosity. 
Well then, consider me glad to have satisfied a witcher, whatever the way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use artifact. I'd appreciate it if you didn't eavesdrop while I eavesdropped. I shan't trouble you. I have a lot of work to do here. Okay, who am I think of? Uh, I'll go for Trish. Faith is in your hands, sorceress. My fate? You haven't asked a single question about me. Yet it is all up to you. Your situation is a comfortable one. Do not squander your chance. So, wish to tell me anything? Favorite color, or...? I'm a sorceress, an advisor to the King of Temeria. Ah! I believe we agreed you would speak only of things I do not know about. Okay. I hope you learned something useful. Mm. I'm just sorry I can't use the artifact a few more times. Its power has been depleted. I understand. Thanks anyway. I could be a complete horrible person and just use it anyway, but... Uh, oh, no I can't, because you ran away with it. And the quest is done. Right. And I can level up. Fantastic. Right, is there anything else worth stealing in here? Other one on note. Some bacteria strains. Nothing else in here. Oh, another note. Okay. So we have to do some delving into my uh my inventory to work out what exactly is going on here. Uh, so okay, that is one of the side quests done and dusted. So I see. And uh, Dario's journal is being complete as well, it looks like. So talk to Cynthia about the Derham's Grimoire. Assassination of King. I still have to play some poker, which I'm not going to make you guys basically walk through. Guys or girls, I should say. But I'm going to leave it there today. Thank you very much for watching. It's a nice short episode. I just wanted to finish off this mission. Uh, and also, it was going to be a longer one, but unfortunately I didn't record, get to record anything for the last two days. Uh, joys of family life. But that's the way it is, and that's the way I love it. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you don't watch my stuff already, and you want to watch it on a more regular basis, please subscribe. Uh, if you do want to say any likes, always appreciated, and any comments, appreciated. And I'm going to go and strangle a small dog. Alright, thank you, and goodbye.